and welcome to Grandad's Reviews. Today I thought we'd have a look at Iridient Transformer. Now a lot of people are using the Iridient Transformer to demosaic the Fuji RAW files um, because they're not happy with how Lightroom does it. But for those people who've not used it before and open it up there's a lot of different settings I thought what I'd do is go through the main settings you can change to alter the actual image that you get from Iridient and just see how each one compares so you can see which may be better for you better for your images now the thing you must be aware of is that the actual image will decide on what settings. So some images will need one setting and different images will need another setting. So what I've got here is this image here and I picked it because we've got a bit of texture and everything in the brickwork and if we zoom right in here and go two to one this is as the image comes into Lightroom as a RAW and you can see around this area here You've got like a what they're calling worm effects or artifacting and the brickwork looks a bit painterly. Now what I thought I'd do first is try Lightroom's enhanced details so we've got something else to compare it with. So if we uh, right click, go enhance details and then let's go enhance, we'll get a DNG pop up that uh, we can compare. So now we've got the original RAF and the DNG. So if we select both and compare them. So we've got the DNG on the right and the RAF on there. So if we zoom in, and this is the RAF and this is the enhanced detail. We've still got some of the Worms artifact in here. Remember, we're in two to one here, but on the brickwork, it looks less painterly, it looks a bit more like brickwork, especially this area here compared to this area here. So, go to our uh, original file, and from within Lightroom, you can get to Radiant Transformer as well. So, if we're going to the uh, plugin extras. And we'll just launch it to change the settings for a start. So you get this up. Now the sections I'm going to change so we can look at is this raw process, the sharpening and the noise. We're not going to look at colour noise reduction because Lightroom actually does a pretty good um, job of doing the colour noise reduction so I've not found any advantage in using this. The luminous noise reduction and the sharpening and this section here is what we're going to go for. So we've got more detailed, we're going to leave the sharpening at none, and we're going to turn off the light room sharpening and the luminous noise we'll leave at none and we'll turn off light room there. And the DNG options leave everything basically as it comes as default. File naming and then save to folder and we'll save it in its own folder with the original in the same folder. So we've got these settings here so we can come out of that, go back in and process this raw file. So now we've got the Iridient edit. Now if we compare this with the RAF one. So we've got the detailed none on the left and the normal one uh, on the right. So as we can see it's not as sharp because we've got turned all the sharpening off. And I would say we've got less worms but the bricks look more realistic. So we go 
this one again. Once we're setting setting change, we're going to leave it as more detailed. But we'll change the sharpening to default. We'll leave all the rest as it was before. So we've got it default sharpening, all the rest the same. Go back, process that one. We'll just change these here while we've got it. So what I'll put this to is high. So you can do this while this box is still up. So we're going to more detailed but high sharpening. Still no noise reduction on there. So this one here. So let's compare it against. So we've got detailed with no sharpening. Detailed with default sharpening. I'll we'll have a look what that looks like. As we can see, we've still got some of these worm effects here. But the brickwork looks better and it's a bit sharper. So if we compare that one, so this is the original file, this is the uh, detailed with the default sharpening. Brickwork looks so much better. But we've still got some of these worm effects. If we look here, that just, just looks completely unnatural where this is a lot more natural. So, rough. So now we're going to do this one, and this one we're going to get more detailed but high, no noise reduction. There. So this time, we'll put the sharpening to default. We'll put the noise reduction to default. So more detailed, default sharpening default noise. So let's detailed high to original. We've got detailed high here on the right, original over here. Going two to one. And we can see that we've now got more worms because we've really sharpened it up. And if you look up here, sharpening is I think too much on it for this particular image. So let's do the next one. So this one is going to be more detailed, default sharpening, default noise. So we'll leave the sharpening at default and we'll do high on the noise reduction. So the next one after this is going to be more detailed, default sharpening, high on the noise reduction. So if we compare that to our original. So we've got the original on the right and the radiant transformer on the left. Right, so what we've got here is a lot less worms and the brickwork looking better. And the same up here, brickwork looking a lot better. And we don't seem to have lost too much detail. Noise reduction hasn't been too aggressive. Go down here. Yeah, I think the noise reduction has been quite good. And default. Original, so I do the next one. So this one we've got high noise, default sharpening. And the last one in the detailed one, I'm going to go high and high. So high sharpening, high noise reduction. And this one was default and high. So let's compare it to these. So we've got the original on the right, and this is the original on this side, on the right hand side. And this one is with high noise reduction, but default sharpening. Certainly less worms, especially look in the back here where we've got this looks all patently where this looks a lot better same with the grass I don't think we've lost too much detail even in the high noise reduction so I think the noise reduction looks quite good in the radiant transformer so our last one in the more detailed let's do that one this one's high and high so the next one we're going to do is going to be smoother None. None. 
Let's remove this nun on that one. So let's compare that to the original. So we've got the original on the right. So I would say the sharpening is just about the same as Lightroom's, probably a little bit more because we've got a little bit of artifacting along here. But the brickwork looks a lot better. If we go to the background here, this area here compared to there, it looks a lot better. Not lost a lot of detail even with the high noise reduction. Yeah, the brickwork looks a lot better in the grass. Looks less painted on. Definitely a lot better. Right, uh, original. So now we're into smoother. So we've got smoother and undone. And we'll do the same here. So we'll have smoother default no noise. So we we'll compare the smooth and non against the original. The original on the right on the smoother with no sharpening, no noise reduction. Certainly a lot less worms and the bricks look better. We'll come out of that. Let's do a smoother non with detailed non. Have a look at that. Let's compare them to see what the difference is. So we've got detailed non, smoother non. And yeah, the smoother is, as it said, smoother. <laughs> Less artifact in. Right, coming out to our original. Let's process this one more. So this one's going to be smoother with default sharpening, no noise reduction. And the one after that we'll do with high sharpening. So let's compare that one to the original. So we've got the original on the right here. Smoother default sharpening. And yep, we've got a better rendering of the brick details. We've still got some of the worm effect in there. On the back, yeah, certainly a better rendition, especially here. If you look on this on the original, that looks really painterly, whereas that doesn't. Let's have a look at this bit of grass here, same, same on here. And here, you can see it really well. Right, so let's go back, go to our original one, process this one. And this one's going to be smoother, high sharpening, no noise. The next time we will do default sharpening, default noise on the next one. So high sharpening, no noise against the original one. So we've got original on the right. I'll zoom into there. So see it's the sharpening that's bringing these worm effects out. If you look that's probably just about the same as the original, but the brickwork is so much better, so much crisper. If we go down here again, again we've got this painterly effect. I wouldn't say that's as good as the default sharpening. It looks like a little bit of paint leaves coming back in again. If we look at the grass, it's certainly better than the original if you look at the tarmac here. A lot better. A lot, lot better. Right. Let's come back out again into the original. And we're going to do next one which is smoother, default sharpening, default noise. So the one after this we will do default sharpening, high noise, so default, default, we'll put it against the original. So we've got the original on the right, zoom in, 
So this is default sharpening, default noise. Definitely a lot smoother. And definitely better. So let's come out of that one. Let's compare the defaults, smoother default sharp default noise against the detailed same one. Let's have a look. So here we've got detailed default default and smoother default default. And you can see quite a big difference. Detailed one is more detailed. It seems sharper straight out of the box. Let's go down to this bit here. Yeah, you can see quite a big difference in this area here compared to this. Let's come out to the tarmac. Yeah, picked out more detail. And that's why I say you need to pick the setting for the particular image you're using. Like if it was just all this brickwork, I think I'd go with a detailed one. Right. Go to our original. This one's going to be smoother default sharpening with high noise. And the last one we'll do is high sharpening, high noise in the smoother. So that will be our last one. So this is our smoother default sharpening high noise compared to the original. I mean just at normal size there isn't a great deal. We've got raw on the original on the right and just looking at normal size you really can't tell much difference. Um, let's just go one to one instead of two to one. Even at one to one you can see a difference. Brick works a lot better. So let's go two to two, two to one. So I can have a really good look. Yep, you definitely got a sharper image on the original one, but we've got all this painterly effect and a lot of worms. We've lost a bit of detail in this one. Certainly not as sharp with that high noise reduction. But it has got rid of all the painterly effect. So, final one. So here we've got smoother, high sharpening, high noise. This is high everything. And we'll compare it to the original. Let's have a look. So we've got the original on the right and the other one on the left. So I'll zoom in. So this one which is smoother, high sharpening, high noise. We've certainly got rid of all the uh, worms. We've got rid of the painterly effect lost some detail in the smaller, finer items. So if you look at this tree at the back and this building here, we're losing some of the detail out of it. This bush as well. Yeah. Well better. Let's go back here. It's original. So in this on this shop I would say if I was going to do it I would probably go with somewhere in the middle. So for this shot for myself, I think if we go to there, I would go more detailed, sharpening about medium, and new noise reduction about medium, I think. And this would be my setting, I think, for this particular image. So that one compared the original. Let's have a look. So we've got the original on the right, my pick on the left, 
I think that's a happy medium. That's quite nice compared to that. And here this a lot better. So yes, for that particular shot I was going for, I'd go for detailed medium medium. But so you're going to have to use your judgment on the image you're looking at on which setting to take. But as you can see, the settings do make a difference and it does do a better job. Well, let's have a look. If I go pick that one against the enhanced one, we've got enhanced on the right, and my pick on the left. And zoom in, and I think I've got less worms. Let's go down to this section here. It's very close. A hmm. little bit of sharpening I think on that one. Because there's a few more artifacts here. So if we tuck that one. A more detailed one. To develop. So this is the image taken in to uh, develop. And if we look in here, there's no sharpening added, no luminance added as it's come in. So we could add some more sharpening to this. Not one, two, two, one. Let's go one to one. If we wanted to, just a little bit. Or in basic, we could add a bit of texture. So that's my look at Iridian Transformer and the different settings like the more detailed, smoother and the settings for the noise reduction and sharpening. I uh, hope that gives you an, eye, an overview or an idea of what settings are best to use for your images and just uh, give it a go and just see if it, you think it is any better than the hand, enhanced details in Lightroom or Lightroom itself. If you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, yeah thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button, if you want to be notified hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.